I got this comment on my video proving that the sum of two sinusoids is a sinusoid in itself. How do we prove this identity? The first step is to assume it is true. And this is an educated guess, because if you were to graph a sum of two sinusoids, you would sense that the sinusoidal nature is still there. So it's fair enough to guess that the sum of two sinusoids is another sinusoid. To not lose generality, you give it a certain amplitude r and a certain phase alpha, and then you work from there. We'll start by expanding the cosine, which will give us r cosine x cosine alpha plus r sine x sine alpha. And then we'll compare coefficients. And perhaps it's easier to switch those terms. And then notice that the coefficient of cosine x is a on the left hand side and r cosine alpha on the right hand side. So these must be equal. And we'll do a similar thing for the coefficient of sine x as well. So we have these two equations, two unknowns. Of course, a and b are known constants. So to find r, let's square the two equations. And then we can add the two equations together and factor out the r squared on the right-hand side. Notice that we have a cosine squared plus sine squared with the same input, so this must be equal to 1. So we have r squared equals a squared plus b squared, and taking the positive square root, we get r is equal to radical a squared plus b squared. Now to find alpha, we'll go back to the two equations we started with, but now we won't square them, we'll divide them. We'll divide the second one by the first one, and we'll have b over a equals r sine over r cosine. The r and r cancel out, and sine over cosine is tan. So we have tan alpha equals b over a. So alpha, of course, will be the inverse tangent of b over a which, of course, agrees with the result I presented in that video. Now, perhaps this is an engineer's way of solving it, because we started with a guess and then worked from there. Maybe a mathematician would use another method, a little more rigorous, using a right triangle, for example. So do let me know if you have alternative solutions or perhaps something more creative.